freaking cube it is. We're not, we're not undefeated anymore, chat, so we can, we can take our record and spike into the garbage can. It's fine. We're only, we're only eight and one. Might as well give up. The issue is that we weren't in mono green. I mean, fight with, fight with fire was absurd in that entire set. Can, can we be at a table full of people shipping us bomb green cards for the third, third, for the fourth cube in a row? I have not forced green once. Green has been open three times in a row. Yeah, that was the problem. The lack of the lack of Titanape. Titanape would have destroyed the last opponent's deck. It would have just like fought their creatures and eaten all of their toys. What deck am I building today? I don't know. We'll see. I've only got one deck submission. I might just build it off stream. I might just do another cube and then call it. Hey, Draft Brood. Thanks for the half year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Last I heard, we ain't doing standard in the new set, right? I'm not doing standard on Thursday or Friday. We will dip back into standard a little bit on Monday. And we'll give it we'll give it a real chance. And if standard does not feel fun, we're not going to force it. Fuck us in. Thanks for the 20 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. But I, I will just say this. I have had like 15 historic deck submissions. I have had zero standard deck submissions. So people's, people's interest in standard seems to be real, real low. Yeah, do we just draft Golos? Yeah, it's like super flexible, right? Like how Wizards chose to do early access off stream. <laughs> how, how funny, sad, gross would it be if the reason they push back early access is because the patch isn't ready yet and we're going to get an announcement Thursday morning that the patch isn't coming because it's not ready. Yeah, I just start drafting. Do I just start drafting Triumphs? Is that the play? All right, chat. This will be this will be our throwaway cube. We're gonna we're gonna 3 this one, and then our record will be eight and four, and we'll be a paltry sixty six percent. I'm gonna draft a bunch of lands and have a good time. One field of the dead, please. One field, one Yarok, please, 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 Cube. May I have, may I have some Yarok field, please? Morning, Leaf Blade. Thanks for the fifteen months. Hey, we're firmly in Sultai Golos. I don't, I don't know what we're doing with this, but. It's where it's where we're at. We have we have a utility land for Golos to search up. Hopefully we can get one or two more.
I don't think I can pass a binding. As much as I want Overgrown Tomb, I don't think we can pass binding. Hopefully Castle or Overgrown Tomb Wheel. I like this is, this is too good to not get. That was a pick four, so we're going to get that pack back with a uh, small number of cards in it. Might get, might get one of those lands back out of it. I, honestly, it could be it could be either of these. It it could be so like I don't know that I want to take a mortal sun because we could we could like end up drafting planeswalkers. It's so early chat that like taking this cuts us out of a lot of planeswalkers, right? And like this is technically a ramp payoff. I don't know that we're gonna wheel an immortal sun. This is pick six. I take the knight. It's just like a good card that curve fills. <laughs> We're not going to have any basics. This isn't very good. Tensor, it's not terrible. Yeah, we could we could grab Saw Tusk and then prioritize grabbing a couple other cheap cards. We did not. We only 2 one Tez is pretty good too, though. I think Fatal Push is good. I like, I like removal. A sweet card that uh mm. sick. Okay, well. Do I take platinum or do I grab the branch loft to be able to have some white for this? I think, I think it's just the, I think it's the angel. This is removal technically, right? Never not cultivate my Golos deck, right? I probably don't have enough life gain for that. Arc of, Arc of Orzaka, Breeding Pool. I have Castle already, so I probably don't need Arc. I think it's just Breeding Pool. It's a ramp spell, right? This is pretty good. The Spring to Mind Wheel. I don't know that this wheels. I think I want this. I wish I wish we had taken Sawtusk now over the fatal push, but still taking Scut Swarm. Still still taking the swarm. Maybe maybe we'll get a, a what's it called? The uh maybe we'll get a gem razor at some point. You cast your first spell, you should reveal the top card of your library. You may cast out paying its mana cost to lesser converted if you don't put it in your hand. Wow. Uh, 
All right, Golos, Golos to the electric boogaloo. It does trigger on your opponent's turn too. Yes, avocado. Is it Spiral or a land? Honestly, Voracious Hydra too. Oh, the White Triumph. We have White Triumph and Red Triumph. Like, there's so many good. I, why? Why does this have to be pick seven? I really want to wheel six cards out of this deck, out of this pack. Yeah, it's probably a Triumph. That's so sad. I just want like all the cards in that pack. Agonizing Remorse or the Ramp Spell. That's probably the ramp spell, right? We want Ashiok? Oh, this is a win con, right? They only have 40 cards? Huh. <laughs> that void slide. <laughs> it's the Blowfish. Thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Welcome to my world of nightmares. All right. Do I take the Rune Crab too then? I took, we drafted the Ashiok. Do we go mill sub theme and take the crab? It like blocks and stuff too, right? For a mill or a mill deck now? Or crab crab ramp deck. Nice. It's all it's all coming together. We've got a plain wide celebration. Celebrate do 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 Fan wishes can get basic lands. Ooh, that's true. How do I feel about Boon of the Wish Giver? I think I'm into it. I think I like it more than Disfigure. Yeah, like we can we can ramp up into this too. There's always one chat. There's always one. This is only pack two, right? So like, I guess I have 25 cards, but like one, two, three, four, five, six of these are lands. Yeah, sure. I'll take a 14th pick egg. They're also streaming. Listen, Chad, I'm streaming and we never, we're never the pile up. Come on now. Gotta go, gotta go fast. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, so we're just taking drowned catacombs, right? My deck doesn't do anything with reclamation. Oh, can we cast Felidar Retreat? That's a good question. I think we can, right? I have Indrith Trium. This finds Indrith Trium. I have Cultivate. I have Paradise Druid. Oh, and Golden Egg. Yeah, I'm going to take the Felidar Retreat. I don't want to splash a ton of cards, but like that one seems worthwhile. Rejuvenator. Oh, yeah. Spring. Spring finds a basic too, right? We'll play a Plains.
Okay, and now we take the the Temple of Plenty over the Explorer, right? Because we got a white card. Do we have a red lane for ghosts? We don't. We can play a mountain though. Nice. Nice. Well now, now I'm gonna continue drafting lands, chat. Now I'm going to continue drafting lands. Oh, the Field of Rune was fixing. That's a good call. That's fine. That's fine. It. Look at our huge tracts of land. Fetid pools or sun petal grove? I think it's sun petal grove actually, huh? The explore wield. Everything's coming up mill. What? <laughs> oh God. Do I take once or do I take Ulamog? Do I take once or do I take Ulamog? <laughs> it's gotta be the greed, right? I think we, I think we greed. I think we greed. I think we greed. I'm gonna greed. I'm gonna greed. Oh God, Kazantu Mammoth. What even is life? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Jess, I like how we have a playable 40 card deck before we add basic lands. I like how we just like have a 40 carder and we just like haven't added basics yet. How many lands are we at? We're only on 13 lands. Like obviously we need to cut some spells, but just like for the record. Hey, Insight, thanks for the thanks for the gift sub. Hope you're having a good one today. Alright, so this is like a one plains, one island, one swamp, one mountain, two forest deck. I think Scut Swarm's a sideboard card. I can cut, we can, like, okay, so let's start cutting things. I gotta, I gotta cut, I gotta make six cuts here. Let's organize our curve. It's a little bit easier to see what we have going on. This Null Priest and this Knight could go. Yeah, I think, I think Ori's bad. Um, I, I honestly don't hate I honestly don't hate Angel Finale. Like I like I kinda like having Angel if we have Finale to fish it fish it up. You wanna cut Finale? Nah, I want I want Finale because I want I want three I want three of these. I want three ways to find Field of the Dead. We like jacked our mana up to play Field of the Dead. Yeah, we have, we have Golos and Ulvenwald, Hydra. 
We could we could cut the mill sub theme. Cut crab, cut Ashiok. This gets us to 41. Plain wide celebration, is that the last cut? But Ulamog, listen, I skipped drafting a once upon a time to play this Ulamog. You'll cut this Ulamog from my cold, dead hands, okay? This is a six mana draw for chat. Cut a land, stop it. Chat, you see these? All of these lands are spells, chat. Thanks for the thanks for the quarter of a year, kind of trash. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Twitch chat, stop trying to cut lands from my deck. Stop it. Bad Twitch chat. I'm at, I'm at 40 cards. Why are you trying to cut my actress? Chat, I'm at 40 cards. Why are we trying to cut stuff? Is there something we want to get back in here? What do you, what do you want to get back in and why? I will take a look at that first one, and if not, Mono Red Storm will definitely, definitely be okay. Avocado, thanks for the biddies. Appreciate you. Yeah, I think, I think I'm happy. This looks like a, this looks like a good one. Spaceman Martian, thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Hey, Dauber, thanks for the sub gift. Thanks everybody for out this morning, by the way. Great to see over 1,300 people in here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full time here on Twitch. I'm here uh, most days of the week, Monday through Friday, doing some Magic the Gathering content in the mornings. After we finish up this cube draft day, we're going to do a little bit of deck building, getting prepped for the Strixhaven release on Thursday. I am taking tomorrow off. Normally I'm live on Wednesdays, but because I'm planning to be to be live Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then all of next week I'm taking Wednesday off before I do that. Uh, yeah, this thing looks fine. We got a Scryland and a Ramp Spell, and then like Atris and Ulvenwald Hydra. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the, the vibes and stuff, we mostly do Constructed, but Cube is sweet, so we're playing some Cube this week. Be sure to check out my YouTube as well. Everything I stream ends up there. This is our fourth Cube draft of the season, so if you want to see some other Cubes too. In addition to Constructed content, it's all up there. Billy Zane Jr. Thanks for the 25 months of Prime. Welcome back. And Prehistoric Shenanigans. Thanks for the follow. It hurts. It hurts to bottom a Cultivate. But I, or that, those were Jr. Yeah, that's fine. It, it feels bad, but I like, I need an actual land, right? Night of the Fun Police. Do they give a reason for cutting early access? And a reason for cutting early access would require them to be able to communicate with their player base and their content creators. Yeah, losing, losing the ramp spell hurts. Oh yeah, for people that didn't hear, Wizards canceled early access tomorrow. So I never get invited to play in that anyways, but for people who are normally invited, it won't be happening. No, they didn't they didn't give an explanation as why. It did not. Woof. I 
think we're dead, chat. They took our they took our ream spell. And we're gonna miss a land drop and die. Yeah, we were on a, we were on the draw there. Not a whole lot we could do. Uh, do I want Mr. Krabs to block? Yeah, stuff like that is why I play best of three. Yeah, not only did they cancel, did they cancel the early access, but they canceled early access by sending people emails literally in the dead of night. Like apparently some people got the email that the the Watsi created program and early access was being discontinued at like 2 a.m. <laughs> you actually actually just can't make this stuff up. What is the creator program? If Wizards of the Coast or I knew exactly what that was and what it was intended to be, I'd let you know. Yeah, the email they sent out, and that's why people saying someone was just out of office, the email they sent out implied early access wasn't coming back. It wasn't, it didn't imply a one-time cancellation. It implied a this thing is over and it's not happening anymore. My other family playing Minecraft. My five and seven year old play a ton of Minecraft. What are we, what are we playing? They're, the three big games for my kids right now are Minecraft, Terraria, and Bloons TD. Bloons, Bloons TD we play together. Christy, Christy, I and the boys do a lot of co-op Bloons TD. Kids don't play Madden. We don't, we're not a sports ball household. Yeah, whatever, whatever the latest balloons is, six sounds right. My, my children are spoiled and each have, each have a cell phone an Android device, so if you buy one copy of Bloons TD, you can share it among your entire family. Easily, easily the best $5 I've ever spent. Mr. Krabs is here, chat. Pokemon Go is kind of a sport with the ball. The, the boys aren't really into Pokemon Go. I play, I play, I've been playing a bunch of Pokemon Go. Their PvP is actually pretty interesting. And uh, Christy, Christy plays a ton catching things, but the boys aren't super into it. Hey, Doggett, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Watsi wanted to put everyone on the same level as Jeff, but since they couldn't give him access, they just took it away from everybody else. <laughs> I don't think I want to do this just to ramp. I'd rather wait to kill something important. Wow, that's rude. They took our Golos chat, fam. Is this more important to kill? Like they took our Golos, like they're not, they're just like a three five. Why would I, why would I kill their three five chat? Someone, can someone explain to me why I'm interested in killing their 
18 cards in deck for the opponent. Sixteen cards in deck. When they have to blood chiefs thirst your one drop chat. Ashiok's not in my deck. It's on the sideboard. I'm gonna hold on to lands at this point in case we draw Field of the Dead. They did Gontier Golos. That's rough. Gonna get punished for not blinking the Gonti. For not binding the Gonti. That's probably the game, honestly. I guess I guess there's a chance they can't kill this angel. I I, yeah, I think I just get Hydra and get Field, right? It depends on depends on like how good their their leftovers are, right? Pretty, pretty good leftover. All right, well, that's got to go, right? None of these have reach, right? Yeah, just like hope there aren't removal spells in their top five cards. It's like a real plan. And we're back to the deck them out plan. Uh, we have 16, they have 12.
even with drawing two here, we still end up at more cards than them in hand in deck. They have 11, I have 14. So it'll be 12 to 10. Oh, right. Angel stops us from losing the deck gang. That's true. Okay. Yeah, Wolf. Wolf is scary. I have an Ulamog in my deck right now. This attack seems loose, right? I'm gonna take 10, go to two. Oh, I did board out Ulamog. This is game two. If you block Wolf, we'll kill Angel. Do you just chat not know what this card does? Chat. Chat, will you just read my opponent's cards before you start telling me my play is bad? Thanks. Your vote. Thanks for the follow. Okay, so now we're just all in on the angel making us making us live plan. I think we just start attacking, right? I mean, they don't have. They have to have a creature in hand to tutor with shaman shit. I could attack with this because I could fatal push if they double block. Yeah, that's a good thought. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that shoots you, Lurus. Lurus just gets it back, anyways. I 
I mean, they could have a removal spell left in their deck. They have nine cards. Ulamog is not in our deck, so I boarded out like a big dumb. They were super aggressive game one. If we get a game three, I don't know. I don't even know that it was wrong to board it out. Like their deck, their deck has a lot of pressure. Does pushing this seem reasonable? I mean, I need revolt to push this. We have we have seven cards left. We don't lose to decking chat. We have platinum angel. And if Plat if Plat Angel dies, we're losing anyways, right? I'm just going to chill for now. I try, Drunk Owl. I try. Why didn't we attack with our death touch tokens? Which death touch tokens? I think that's the game, right? I'm gonna die, die in the air. I don't, I don't remember. Why, did, why didn't you make the play 40 turns ago? I don't know. Instead of me telling you your play is, is wrong, tell me why it's right. You remember the board state from 40 turns ago. Tell me why I'm supposed to make the play from 40 turns ago. They have two, they have two flyers, chat. Yeah, we're like a couple of turns short. We might have, we might have been able to get out of this with Scut Swarms if we had a little bit more time. Needed them, needed them to brick on Binding for one more turn here. Them, them not stealing Golos would have been would have been good for us too. Yeah, considering considering our beats this game, I'm pretty happy with the with the result. I don't know. I don't know that I'm really unhappy with any of my decisions that we made. We'd be able to kill them if we attack with everything. Well, we're currently dead on board, so. Yeah, they took they took our Felidar retreat and our Golos with their two Gonti triggers. I was joking. Thanks for the prime. Okay, so I assume they know we're dead on board then. <laughs> no, we only we only two won the previous draft. So we're eight in. We're eating two now after this one. That's fine. We knew this deck that we knew this deck that we're playing wasn't very good. 
And we still got to play a real game. They saw, they saw the attack with their flyers lying, rats. Yeah, yeah, really close game considering considering Gonti taking probably the two best cards in our deck. Hey, thanks, Joking. I appreciate you dropping into a live one and dropping off some prime support. Wouldn't be able to be here without folks like you. Thanks for the 15 months, Wiki. Good morning, good morning. Look at our perfect mana base. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a swamp and a forest. Yeah, is there actually our second our second cube of the morning, Ducky? So both of them will be up on YouTube this evening. Yeah, pretty, pretty much everything ends up on YouTube. Do I just like take another three ball and then set myself up to Scut Swarm next turn? Well, I guess I can Scut Swarm next turn regardless, right? No, yeah, we do, we do this. No, I think we do this and then I can try them and then next turn we could go Swarm Land Spring. If I took the two cards, I was gonna have to discard the hand size there, so I think it's right to gamble. Like, I think it's generally right to always take two cards with Atris, but the fact that um, I was gonna discard the hand size if I took two there was, uh, was rough. Spring is sprung, chat. They could do something like a, a sweltering sun here, I guess, like a volcanic fallout. And they don't, if they don't have a sweeper, the swarms are posed, poised to take over after this turn. Hey, Wellborn, thanks for the gift. It's very generous of you. Good morning, good morning. Got me. Look at this complete and total utter lack of respect. Was that top deck good? If so, why? Please explain. One field of friends, please. Oh, look! 
Look at that. We have nine lands now, chat. Hey, sweeper bust opponent. Sweeper bust. There's something bugging me about this board state, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. I'm not going to block with the Golos because I don't want to lose Golos to a deal three to everything spell. Sure. You got my Golos. All right, chat. I know the answer to this question because you all at home are members of Twitch chat, but do you think I should stone rain my opponent with this Ulamog? Double, double stone rain. Never, never not double stone rain. Yeah, do we take him off white or red? I think they're more likely to have a red sweeper, right? We just take them off red mana. And like they know this Ulamog is coming. They gave it they gave it to us off Atris. I'm gonna trade a bug for 10 points of damage here. White is more likely to have a spell that deals deals with Ulamog. That's fair. I'm having the guaranteed double red card makes taking mountains appealing though. I feel kind of bad we're only winning this game because of how many bugs Arena has, but you know, I guess we'll take what we can get. My opponent's deck has 46 cards in it still, so we're playing like a 60 card deck. I didn't I didn't notice that. Is Settle the Wreckage in the cube? It is, right? So let's drop the land before we attack. So this way if they settle us, it's not a big deal. Thanks for the prime, my sure. I appreciate the three months. Welcome back. And Rihanna, I missed that a second ago. Thank you for the 22. Yup, we. Thanks for the, thanks for the, I think I'm happy with how we're, how we look. Let's run it back. I think all my colors paradise sure it is a keep and you just hope to draw some bombs, right? Sure. 
sure. Yeah, they did have an, an undo in exile. Mr. One, thanks for the 20 months. Welcome back. Green again. We're five color green this time. Okay. That's rude. Um, I think we lose the mammoth, right? And then if I do this, I can put two lands into play and then binding the Doom Foretold. And I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We're not too far off of Lamog, and they don't have a ton of pressure. So we can get to the the big noodly noodly daddy. He just wants to embrace you with his noodly appendages, chat. Ulamog's a lover, not a fighter. He just he just wants to give hugs. Embrace me, Doodly Daddy! Please, please love me, Doodle Daddy! Doodle, Doodle Daddy! That's a, that's a free roll, right? That'll gain us three. So we go like, egg, tap, land, and then we, we Sky Daddy in two turns. Noodle Daddy in two turns. with me friend now is the time to hey Matt thanks for the 27 months I appreciate that welcome back they need to pressure their planeswalker here for free which is nice I guess if I attack this, I don't get to egg. I think I need to attack this still. Hey, thanks, Handover. My sand will protect you. Hit him with the pocket sand, Brassy. We'll walk it said he spelled our deck off of Brassy. That he does.
Yeah, Hydra, Hydra or Golos are our best hits here. Yikes. Yikes. All right, well. Uh, do I gotta exile these flying tokens? I think I do, right? Nah, Brassy puts 1-1 one, one counters on things. We're dead to a land, right? They play a land. They put a counter here. They hit us for four. Woof. Yeah, I think we're dead. We're dead to Brassy Minus. Oh, we were just dead to Brassy Minus. We were. Still dead to Brassy Minus. Hey, the turn, the turn I attacked this, perhaps I should have gained three. Bit of a mistake. Mysticals Archives of any spice for Porky Parrot asking for a friend. I think our friend Porky Parrot is not quite competitive in in the historic format, unfortunately. Watch this, as much as I love him. Well, I believe our opponent has mulliganed to three. Two, maybe. Okay, well. Yeah. Opponent's probably a newer player. They're playing a 61 card deck with an ambitious mana base. They've mulliganed to zero. Feels, feels a little bad. We lost the first round of this cube, so. Yeah, they got, got a little bit magic there. Unfortunate. When you're, if you're newer to drafting, you want to make sure you keep your decks at 40 cards, 41 at most. Keep your, keep your deck as consistent as possible. Uh, I'm told that cube doesn't have matchmaking. I believe I believe the drafting pairs you based on current record alert. But I actually, I actually don't know for sure. I've heard, I've heard mixed things. I don't know if Wizards has communicated clearly how exactly it works. I think a lot of it, a lot of it feels like speculation from people. Mammoth making this otherwise awkward hand super keepable. He played companions in cube? Yeah. Yeah, Yorian, Yorian's Yorian and Lurus are both in the cube, right? So I'll get blue plus a second green here. I have white, white off a trium. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have put this into play so I could go. So I could go tap land Atrus this turn. With that draw, do I go binding on the elf since they're stumbling? I think so, right? And then I get to trigger, I get to trigger field of the dead next turn. Mm, I guess it continues to be awkward, so I want to put field into play next turn. I still can't Atris. That's fine, though. I definitely, definitely should have put Island into play off the Cultivate. Opponent's doubling, so it shouldn't matter.
Someone gambled and lost. <laughs> always take two cards, chat. Always, always take two cards. If you're not discarding the hand size, and if you're not discarding the hand size, and the one card face up doesn't literally win you the game, take two. Yes, yeah, especially when your lands are two twos. Molly, thanks for the thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel this morning. It's garbage time. You don't have to go home, but you can't play here. Do, 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 do. I enjoyed the trial stream and picked up the game afterwards anyway to let them know that you sent me. You can tag them on social media, but I'm sure I'm sure they know they know that people click it in on their game the day I streamed it were related to me. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was really good. I think I think Trials of Fire is probably the best roguelite that I've played in terms of deck building. I liked it. I liked it a lot. The positional element was really well done. Nocturnal missions, thanks for the follow. I guess my opponent could have like a small turn sense or something here, huh? Do we, are we, are we blessed by the city? Yeah, if, you, if you're someone that likes like Slay the Spire style games, you should definitely check out the, the Trials, Trials of Fire segment I did yesterday. And definitely, previously, previously Grifflands had been my number one, but it definitely replaced Grifflands as number one. Had a lot of, had a lot of really good ideas in it. I think I'm happy. I really didn't see too much of their deck. They stumbled a bit. This deck is a masterpiece. It's something. It's something. It really came together when we got Field of the Dead in, in pack three. We got like Field of the Dead like pack three, pick five. We've been like drafting to Field as an out the entire time. Do you have a plan for Thursday if Watsy botches the patch? I mean, if they botch the patch, I just won't, won't stream until the patch is live. Uh, this is match three, game two. We lost the first one. Yeah, I mean, we have a, a number of landfall payoffs, even with even if we didn't spike the field of dead. Like we got the Felidar retreat and the the Scut Storm as well. Uh, my so we're going to do some variety this afternoon. We're going to check out an action roguelite called Going Under, which is supposed to be funny and neat. And then after after this afternoon's variety segment, I'm going to be hitting pause on doing variety stuff for a week to two weeks or so while we focus on doing more magic stuff. It's right at, right at set release. Magic is, is most exciting. So my plan is to stream for like eight to 10 hours on Friday, on Thursday and Friday this week. And then the Oglandia Open will be all day on, Oglandia Open will be all day on Sunday or all day on Saturday. And then Sunday I'm playing in a historic 5K that Insight Esports is putting on, so busy week. And the basic, the basic forest there rounded things out nicely for us for sure. Yeah, going going unders is the startup. What I have it. Uh, what? How do they describe it? It is a a satirical dungeon crawler about exploring the cursed runes of failed tech startups. Someone someone sent me the description for that. Was like Jeff, does this sound like something you'd play? I was like, yeah, it sounds like something I'd play. That sounds great. Time to 
Yeah, it's, we're gonna we're gonna play that this afternoon. So if you want to check that out, or if you can't stay, it'll go up on YouTube too. So we're gonna play that for a few hours this afternoon. Should be fun. Thanks for the follow, Doctor Nobody. We just kill the Kiora here because they're stumbling on lands. Can't block, right? Ceaseless, thanks for the follow. Good afternoon. We have Field of the Dead next turn. Yikes. Yes, this is about to bang her, yeah. All right, Golos, I'm gonna need you to have a strong back. <sighs> One mana off of being able to activate that this turn. I've got huge tracts of land. All right, can we dodge a removal spell? And Golos, Golos gives us some, some spins next turn. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we do have good odds of hitting spells of Golos lives. Exile a top three cards you like me play them this turn without paying their mana cost. So now we scry, right? That exiles the top three. And I already played a land, so I don't really want that. <sighs> this might be a take one, take one turn. We're looking for a banger at this point. It just dies to Glorybringer, right? Yeah, weird, weird split there on their part. They have five differently named lands. Yikes. Uh, we are two and one, and we're up a game in in the third match, or one and one and up a game in the third match. Yeah, there should be should be an Ulamog coming up sometime soon, right? Hopefully, he'll drag us kicking in the third third chapter. And this doesn't do much, thankfully. We got the growth spiral for the instant speed mammoth pump here. No lands left in the deck, right? Is that is that accurate? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105
Pooh! Thank you for the prime good. I think that they're supposed to just stack these on the dragon and two turn clock me, right? Yeah, that's a smart. Like, so you're using a deckless companion like untapped or is it illegal? It's not illegal, I just don't find it useful. Boney, thank you for the 27 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. We just take glory and ruin us, right? Right? Man, brutal. Punish, punish for not hydrating. For one, one land short. Hey, game three on the play. One land short there at the end. Hydra been too good at the land can been play attempt. Yeah, probably. Probably. In a in a way, it was unlucky that we actually drew Ulamog. Because if we hadn't drawn Ulamog, we would have played the Hydra there, and then we likely would have hit Ulamog off a of Golos activation. So the fact the fact that we drew Ulamog was pretty unfortunate. I think we're cycling this if they don't give us a mana dork to push here. Okay. Pretty solid curve here. Probably just taking two cards here again. I think we're fatal pushing this land more elf as well. Keep them off of some of their acceleration. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't think we're getting a much better target than elf for push. And slowing, slowing them down while we try and get to our platinum and Ulamog sounds great. Any ramp spell here is great because a ramp spell would let us, uh, let us activate field next turn. I guess Paradise Druid is technically a ring spell that doesn't activate field. Thanks, deck. You're not wrong. That sinking feeling again. That sinking feeling again.
Yeah, but it, but it keeps trying to get us with Atreus. I'm just like happy to continue to draw two cards with my 3 2. He's a good. Who's a good little mull drifter? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Big boy. You're making me crabby. Yeah, I think I think Mammoth's just a land here. You know, it's probably right to play field, actually, because if I draw an untapped land next turn, I could go untapped land, make a field zombie, play Platinum Angel. I kind of didn't want to expose my field to waking the trolls this turn, though. Gonna kill QR if we plus one before attacking. Yeah, I kind of want the tokens, though. I kind of want to, I kind of want to build up a little bit of an army before I start, I start putting counters on things. What a way to lose a cube. If like stomp, stomp with the last two mana. I love to make a splash. Wow, that's super fucked up. <laughs> Man, fucking Eldred. <laughs> oh, yikes. Uh, this is a tap land, chat. This is a tap land. So I can play this, and then we can make a token, and we can put 1-1 one, one counters on everything, but that's only 6, 9. To, I, can, I, I can only put 11 toughness into play here, which is just 0% against Eldrin. So, good game opponent. That's a pretty, that's a pretty peak Twitch chat turn. Everybody just being like, cast the Platinum Angel when we can't. All right, we knew that deck was we knew that deck was probably shit going in. Don't don't draft five colors, Chip. This is how it. It's just how it be. Get that. We got twenty gems back. Wow, you don't get any coins for going one and two. You get stone cold just ICRs. Brutal. Brutal. Thanks for, thanks for the 20 months, slow inf. I pre 28 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Best of three is brutal like that. I mean, best of one's not much better, right? Oh, you get golds back for single wins here. Okay, that makes sense. This is less brutal. That's fair. All right. We're going to retire from cube. 